Plaque was founded 50 years ago by the physics department at Stanford and this property was basically a cow pasture with a couple of oak trees and a herd of cows. On it they built the longest linear accelerator in the world and the people who planned it here at Stanford called it Project M. The M stood for monster because it was so much bigger than anything they had ever undertaken before. Over the past 50 years SLAC has been heavily involved in particle physics and has been a major force in particle physics, discovering particles and using that information to give a detailed understanding of the structure of matter. Here at SLAC we continue um, to try to understand really fundamental physics of the universe. We try to understand the very small and the very big. We'd like to understand how we got here, how did the universe come to be the way it is now. We're doing this in many different ways. The types of research done here at SSRL include things like biological science where we're looking at drug design or vaccine development, applications such as in chemistry and material science where we might be looking for new battery storage devices or semiconductors or energy sources. Even through to things like archaeology, where we look at bones and feathers and fossils, uh, using x-rays, looking at things we've never been able to see before. So the Linac Coherent Light Source is the world's first hard x-ray laser. At the time, 10 billion times brighter than any other x-ray source in the world. An entirely new regime for x-ray physics. We're already thinking about ways to make it brighter, to go to shorter wavelengths, so we're, we're planning for the future already. What we are trying to do is uh, design new catalysts that will help us on the way to a cleaner, and more sustainable future. We want to use the sun to generate electricity. We want to split water, for example, to get hydrogen. We want to use carbon monoxide and hydrogen, for example, to produce fuels that we can use. Among the most exciting activities involves exploring new ideas for accelerating particles in much more compact facilities. And so instead of needing two miles to accelerate the 60 giga electron volts, can you do that in a scale of 100 meters or something? And this would open up all kinds of applications, whether it's uh, medical purposes, it could be for imaging purposes. I'm excited about the, just the human potential. Think about the, the students, the people that work here, the, all the things we get to do. One long-standing product or output from Slack has been the intellectual development of people. But it's vital and it's a great thing. Alumni from Slack are all around the world effectively leveraging their careers with the skills they developed here. The last 50 years I don't think anyone could have predicted all of the discoveries that have been made and all of the prizes that have been won and all of the knowledge that's been gained and I think the next 50 years promise to be even more exciting. I see Slack over the next 50 years using the radiation that is produced by these accelerators to look at problems in biology, to look at problems in the environment, to discover new materials in chemistry and material science and give humanity a chance to discover its full potential. What I'm looking forward to is to learn the question we'll be asking in 50 years from now. It's not the answers so much, it's really about those questions. They will tell us of how much we've learned. The last 50 years at Slack have been amazing, but you've seen nothing yet. Mm -hmm.